Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What does legal and physical custody mean? When discussing child custody, two critical components come into play, legal custody and physical custody. These terms are often confused, but they serve distinct purposes in the context of child care and decision-making. Legal custody. Legal custody refers to the right and responsibility to make significant decisions on behalf of the child. This includes decisions related to the child's education, health care, medical care, and religious upbringing. In joint legal custody, both parents share the authority to make major decisions for the child. This arrangement ensures that both parents are involved in important decision-making processes. In sole legal custody, one parent has the sole authority to make these significant decisions. This is typically awarded when one parent is deemed unfit or unable to participate in decision-making effectively. Physical custody. Physical custody, on the other hand, pertains to the actual physical possession and care of the child. It determines where the child primarily resides and involves the daily care and supervision of the child. There are several types of physical custody, including sole physical custody, primary physical custody, shared physical custody, partial physical custody, and supervised physical custody. Sole physical custody means the child resides primarily with one parent while the other parent may have visitation rights. Shared physical custody involves the child spending substantial time with both parents. Determining custody. Courts consider various factors when determining both legal and physical custody. The primary consideration is always the best interest of the child, which includes the child's physical, intellectual, moral, and spiritual well-being. Factors such as which parent has historically been the primary caretaker, the resources and support available to each parent, and the child's current school district are taken into account. Visitation rights. In cases where one parent has primary physical custody, the other parent may be granted visitation rights or parenting time. This ensures that both parents can maintain a relationship with the child. Best interest of the child. Ultimately, the court's decision on both legal and physical custody is guided by what is in the best interest of the child. This principle ensures that the child's welfare is the top priority in any custody arrangement. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.